This video will be about cleaning and maintaining your equipment. When you're using your equipment on location, you'll find that it's very easy for it to get dirty, especially outdoors and in certain types of environment. So here in this room, things aren't going to get too dirty because you're indoors, but I do take my camera out and about, and uh, these are the times that when you bring it back, you want to just clean it and just to, to maintain the general working order. So just to let you know, dust is a very big killer of computer systems. Uh, this is something that I'm familiar with. So just cleaning the dust around your camera, trying to prevent it from getting inside your camera is very important. And it's always nice to have a nice clean piece of equipment that looks well maintained, especially when you go on location and people are looking at you using your equipment. So I've been out and about a few times, like you saw the video from Tally, Talabudra Valley, and um, I've done a few other videos recently that you haven't seen. So I just want to give it a clean. It's mainly just a little bit of dust, but I want to go through it and just give it a nice little clean. So I'm just going to use some brushes to start with. And I just want to start from the top and start. Cleaning all of the dust. Have the camera. So one of the things that will make your camera look aged is the screws. All throughout the camera, like as an example, here, here and here, these are the parts of the camera which will show signs of the environment that it's been working with. So the screws in your camera, especially around here, around the microphone plugs, will be the first place that will show signs of corrosion if it's been used in a corrosive environment. And if you ever were to buy a camera, like an expensive camera, and you see rust around the screws, I would probably avoid it, unless it's really cheap. So I'm just going through cleaning all of the dust. From my camera. It's always good to look at your camera and see it nice and clean. So with my camera, these are my um, volume controls. So when I plug microphones into here, I can control their volume. And then I've got more input buttons, uh, microphone power, and then you've got a few other settings here to change some of the way it records video. So we'll just work to the other side. One of the locations which I don't like taking my cameras is the beach. On the Gold Coast, we have lots of beaches and corrosive environments. <sighs> and working with computers, you just see firsthand how much damage the salt 
and the corrosive environment we live in here on the Gold Coast can cause to electrical equipment. Just to give you a quick rundown on how the environment will damage your computer or electrical devices like our air conditioners, TVs, is what happens is, is the dust that's being sucked through the system by the cooling will, will sit inside a computer system and then the most common location that dust is attracted in a computer is in the main fan and what happens is is when the buildup of dust is in the fan and you add an environment of a high humidity or moisture in the air like we have here on the Gold Coast in summer what happens is is that dust is like a sponge and it just goes and it sucks the moisture out of the air and the dust in the fan becomes wet just from the moisture in the air and then what happens is, is as that dust gets heavier as the fan spins it flicks the dust all through the computer and then it's very common for me to see inside a computer system a line of corrosion all around inside the computer of where the fan is just flinging and throwing wet dust all around inside the computer system and you'll see like literally a straight line of corrosion all the way around inside the computer system uh, I think the some of the quickest time frames of computers being killed by corrosion is uh, literally weeks and that's that same scenario where the wet dust gets flung onto a, a card, like a video card. And because you got a, you put a new card into a dirty computer system and the wet dust gets flung onto it, um, we've seen corrosion start within two or three weeks of uh, computer products. And you can't get warranty on a computer product that has been got corrosion because that's the environment's fault, not the card. But that's something that you've got to watch out for. So computer systems, when you live in an environment that has high humidity, you must keep the dust clean. So that's one of the things that you would do to service a computer system. Okay, so most of the dust is off of the camera. So I just want to go through... and clean around here. So the lens of the camera is by far the most delicate part and you must be very careful. So I just have a little, lens cleaning pad on the end of this. I'm just very gently cleaning the dust off my lens. So while that's off, I'm just going to give my lens a little bit of a clean, and that's the part that goes with it, so you can see why it's so big now. So while it's off, I'm going to start using the wet rag to give this a nice clean. So this is uh, a moistened piece of cloth. I've uh, wrung all the water out of it so it won't have any problems with any moisture. It'll all dry out fine. Okay. So I'm going to Go around here very carefully and just remove any dust that might be in there. And I've just touched the lens a little bit with the wet cloth 
which is something you really want to avoid. Sorry, I just want to make sure that my lens is nice and clean. Once I finish with this camera, I'll switch back and put this camera up top and then I'll keep working. it helps if I put it the right way. Okay, so now the lens is clean, I'm just going to clean the inside of the cover. So one of the parts which is hard to clean are some of these rubber rings. So I'll get to those in a minute. So any of the rubber attracts the dust, but it's very difficult to remove it. Another place that you might see rust is up at the top, the hot shoe. So I don't do this very often, so I'm just trying to do a good job. The viewfinder is very, very dirty, so I'm going to just spend a little bit of time just trying to clean it up the best I can. Give it a nice clean, it'll help it to look its best. I'd like to use a little bit of uh, like a, a lanolin oil or something just to, I'd love to be able to spray it over the parts of the camera but it would really smell to help protect it from the rust and corrosion. So now I will work. A little bit at a time. Just trying to clean these focus rings. So on a camera like this, you don't want to just move it around because it's all mechanically driven. You'd need to flick a switch before you'd want to move anything. Still, you don't want to move it. 
just in case you damage something. So this is the hardest part of the camera, just trying to get into all of these little parts. The camera's looking much cleaner now. Not that it was really dirty before, but it was just something that it really needed. Just to clean some of the dust out of it, just to help maintain it. You'd be surprised how important just regular cleaning can be for the maintenance of electrical equipment. Also, the appearance is much better once it's been cleaned. to give the battery a clean too. You can just see all the dirt and stuff. Batteries are sort of not cared about as much as the camera because they're not as valuable, so. They can get very easily uh, neglected. But you wouldn't want dirty contacts in your battery to cause you any problems to your camera. So I'll just give the contacts a little bit of a clean. So that's one of my batteries, so Got a little button here to indicate how much battery level is left in it. But it's very handy having a battery this size. So this battery will keep my camera powered for about four hours. Um, that's one of the reasons why I chose my camera. <sighs> because you can literally just... Turn it on. Start shooting. Straight away. And there's the camera. That's one place I forgot to clean was here. Just turn it off. And I'll just quickly clean the viewfinder. It's disgusting. Really, really bad. Because the viewfinder is something you're always handling and touching. I hate cleaning viewfinders because you're scared to scratch it or damage it. Definitely one of the things I don't like to clean. Don't like to put scratches into viewfinders. Okay. Okay, I'll switch cameras over and I'll continue cleaning some of my other equipment. So now we're back to the big camera. Um, hope you enjoy this uh, painting that I've got in the background. So uh, when I saw it, I quite liked the, uh, the image itself. So it's like an old vintage poster. North Coast Limited, the Montana Rockies. So... I thought you'd like that one. So here's my little uh, Sony action camera. Don't mind me, I'm just looking in the viewfinder of my big camera just to check it's okay. So this one here I generally keep uh, reasonably clean because it gets used outdoors much, much more. And also it gets used uh, in the water or the ocean. 
so this one's already pretty clean but its lens could just do with a little bit of a clean So that's the camera sorted and that's its uh, waterproof housing so the waterproof housing isn't something I'm too worried about getting scratched but one of the problems I have with the Sony action camera is I don't quite work out how but what happens is, is when the camera has been inside the enclosure it gets quite hot and warm the camera the warmer the camera is the quicker the batteries die but what happens is it somehow gets condensation inside the enclosure no water gets in there but there's like some type of moisture in there and what happens is is the lens of the camera in the waterproof housing fogs up and it becomes unusable so um, the Sony camera has a few weaknesses, has a few good points. Uh, so the one thing I try and avoid making sure I don't scratch the lens because you can't fix it. So the rest of the waterproof housing doesn't matter. But the lens is, this part here, is very important that you don't get any scratches on it and it'd be very, very easy to scratch. Um, other than the condensation issue, it's a good little camera similar to your GoPro so it's like a, a GoPro silver uh, the GoPro blacks are a step up in quality compared to the Sony one I was a little bit disappointed the Sony one come out and I thought oh, I'll get that over the GoPro and then a week later the GoPro the new GoPro's announced so GoPro probably one step ahead of them and we're just waiting So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clean around the edge of the waterproof seal. So here's a location where I spotted a little bit of sand in there. So I'm just going through and I'm just cleaning inside here. You'd hate to have a problem with your seal when you're underwater with the camera. So I primarily bought this camera before I even thought about recording ASMR videos to uh, use on my kayak and also something small and portable um, to record video of my son so you could just, if you're out and about, like similar to a mobile phone, you could just pop it out, press a button and start recording. And if the Sony camera's got good light, the quality of the video is quite good. So here's the rubber seal. So I'm just going to gently clean any dirt out of that. And then we're going to just gently, without trying to twist it, put it back. So you just want to make sure that the rubber seal is seated all the way around. It looks pretty simple and easy. Okay, so now I'll go back to this housing. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a clean inside. And then what I'll do is I'll leave this open. I'll leave this open and I'll hope wherever the condensation keeps coming from it gets dried out so um, so that's cleaning that so that was pretty easy so the one thing you got to be careful of is not to scratch the front of that which is very easy to do so when I'm carrying the camera somewhere I'll put the camera inside the enclosure with the lens and I'll put it inside a sock so that it has some type of protection against being scratched Okay, the next item that I'd like to clean, this is something that I haven't cleaned in a while. 
so this is my low pro top loader 65 bag um, this bag and camera has been all over the place um, when I travel generally if I was out and about all I would carry is this and I might have my passport wallet money here everything in here and this would go everywhere I go all right so this is my Canon 40D I purchased this wow it must be like seven years ago or something um, great camera it'd be really good if it could record video but it doesn't record video but it does take a pretty good picture so I'm no professional photographer but I do try so we start just trying to clean the dust So again, we're just trying to clean all the dust out of it. It's my um, Santis Extreme 3 Compact Flash. This was one of the better cards that was available at the time of me purchasing it. Uh, 8 gig you think is pretty small, but at the time it was pretty big. And I haven't needed anything bigger than that. So I've just got my uh, cheap 50mm lens on there at the moment. Um, I've only got the lens that it come with, which was the 17-85 EFS lens. But it currently is broken. There's a little ribbon cable inside the lens. And I believe it's broken. I've ordered the replacement cable. I've got the replacement cable. And I'm planning on replacing it. But it's not an easy job. And not being at work at the moment, I don't have direct access to a good soldering iron. So I was planning to record a video to show me repairing the lens. Um, it can be a very, very big job. Repairing the lens. Now I'll bring this camera down a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I'd love to get um, some more lenses for this camera. But always money is something that you've really got to save for yourself. Try not to spend too much of it. That's very, very important these days is to hold on to your money as much as you can. Oh, I'm just giving the camera a really good clean just in the hand grip. Because this is where you're holding the camera and the oils from your hand uh, are going to make the camera dirty, even though it doesn't look like it is, it will be for sure. So this camera needs a good clean. So one day when I get more money, I'll probably try and upgrade to like a 7D or something like that, but that'll be a while away. I definitely want to use it to, to record video. The quality of the video from the digital SLRs is very, very high. All of the video cameras are now using the same type of sensors as the digital SLR cameras. And um, I like the Canon cameras, you know, Canon and Nikon and all the other brands are all pretty good. But you, you might have certain preferences on the brand of camera that you might want to use. So something I probably should have done at the start is just pull out the battery. So I'll just very carefully just pull out some of the dust in here. And now I can get into the switch a little bit better. Uh, 
as you can see just here it's quite dirty just around the, the padded area which is designed as a hand grip. So as I'm doing this I might just put a slideshow of a few different pictures that I've taken in some of my travels. So now it's looking quite clean. I'm just going to go through just using a tissue just to dry any moisture that might still be there. I think I forgot to do. There's a little bit of dust in here, which I forgot about, which I'll just try and clean out. So again, what we're going to do is just clean the lens of the camera with this. And it's looking... Just a little bit of dust on there. So I'll just... through and clean this. So I bought this camera in Hong Kong many many years ago and I bought the little lens with it at the same time. So the little 50mm 1.8 Canon lens is a um, great lens for the money. You can take some quite good photos but as always the Canon L series and some of the other lenses are really really good as well. So I'm quite a big fan of the Canon cameras, always like the Canon cameras. But again, as always, you know, that's just a brand preference. The Nikon cameras would definitely be a very, very good camera. And plus plenty of the other types of cameras would be very, very good. That's, that's just my preference. You know, once you buy something and it works well for you. My last Canon camera before this one, more of a... um compact handheld type camera uh, I was at Fraser Island here in Australia and um, there was like these rock pools I think it was called the champagne rock pools I'll see if I can find a picture for you and I was trying to get a photo of a fish inside a little rock hole I think I might even have the photo I'll see if I can pull it out and as I'm there trying to get a photo of this fish in this little rock hole a big wave just coming out whoosh, and just smashed over the top of the rocks and just wet the camera a little bit and that was all it took to kill the camera so you got to be so careful around water especially salt water salt water is so dangerous to electrical equipment you don't want to know how many computer parts I have seen just corroded I've seen whole computers corroded completely with less than a year of age um, we would have computers come into the shop in the in the wet season or the summer season and they would be dripping water inside the computers and you'd see like like corrosion marks of them of where the water would run down inside the the computer all right i think we're good to go
try that one more time. It was a little bit underexposed. And there it is there. Okay, so that was me cleaning my camera. And I'll probably go through and give this a bit of a clean as well. So that was a um, quite a long video of me just going through and cleaning my cameras. So um, you can kick back and relax and listen to the sound of my voice. And I hope you enjoyed just seeing some of the equipment. So um, that was my big camera. So that's my pride and joy at the moment. It's uh, great for video. My little Sony action cam. Very, very handy little camera to have. And if you've got good light, like in here, the quality of the video is quite good. And something I've uh, enjoyed very much is my Canon still camera. So I might try and put a few pictures as a bit of a slideshow after this video so you can see some of the photos that I've taken with it. Thank you.